In this video, we're going to talk about the Rush 72 backpack from 511 Tactical and how good of a backpack is this for something like a bug out bag. The mission is what's important, right? And if your mission is it's a bug out bag to get out of your house with, you know, from most to least likely, I don't know, uh, flood, earthquake, house fire, uh, power outage, that kind of thing, or any other kind of disaster. A lot of people like to use the zombie apocalypse or the end of the world as we know it as a uh, kind of like just thought exercise, but I like to stay away from those. If you're trying to get out of your house with a bunch of stuff and you're going to have to sort of semi go camping for a little while with just the stuff you can grab quickly, I think this is a great backpack and I'm going to show you uh, why. So let's talk for a second about how I have this set up. This isn't so much a recommendation for how you set up your bug out bag. It's just an example of why I think this is a good bug out bag. Um, and we'll kind of talk about that as we discuss what I have in here. So in any kind of situation where you're like on the move with not a lot of stuff, um, you're, you're going to need help from somewhere, right? Like you're not going to like su survive in the woods for weeks at a time yourself. It doesn't happen. You're going to be like, maybe living out of this at your local high school auditorium and waiting out, you know, the flood or the fire or whatever. Um, you're going to be maybe at a, you know, like a FEMA site, like waiting out whatever until it's safe to go back home again. Um, you're maybe going to be, if you live on the very, very outskirts of town or outside of town, you might be needing this for a, you know, maybe a day hike back into town to get help, that kind of thing. So that's kind of the the way I've got it set up. First things first, right on the outside, it's got a ton of pockets. And the nice thing is the outside pocket is big, so I use it for medical supplies. You can see I have kind of a jumble of uh, medical supplies. Less boo-boo kit, more trauma kit, because it's just much like more likely that you need to treat uh, some trauma that you're running away with or walking away with. Um, like, that's actually like high impact um, so and high urgency, so that's out here. So. I've got gauze. I have um, combat gauze, it's like a styptic impregnated gauze um, for stuffing holes and wrapping big bleeding areas. Uh, more gauze. Uh, mask to protect yourself from, uh, you know, smoke, <laughs> viruses, uh, anything. Some basic water treatment gear. Um, this is just a Sawyer mini filter in its own little bag. The plastic bag is useful on its own as well. More combat gauze. This is like enough to tr certainly treat you and probably some family members just so you can get to a hospital. More water. Um, these are chlorine purification tablets. You can use iodine, whatever. And then just a tiny bit of boo-boo stuff with some um, liquid bandages. Wipes, useful for all kinds of stuff. Stormproof matches. Uh, this is, you should have multiple ways of making a fire, keeping yourself warm, uh, especially if you live in an area where it gets very cold, either at just at night or uh, for a portion of the year. Um, more ways to purify water. Can you tell that water is important when you're hiking 12 hours a day? It's very important. Uh, a little bit of camp soap. Uh, Earplugs, um, nail clippers, just like small hygiene items uh, can be useful for if you're like sleeping somewhere temporarily, if you're in a shelter, that kind of thing. These kinds of things can be really nice, especially if it's loud there. Um, mylar blankets, it's called an emergency blanket. Just if someone's going into shock and you need to make sure that they keep their body temperature up or you're just starting to be a little freezing because you're underdressed. You can see there's um, kind of multi-use pockets sewn into this as well. Um, these look like they could fit actually all kinds of uh, magazines if you're carrying a rifle around. These all have kind of this little bit of military flavor to them. Um, I guess suppose you could use them for that, but um, I, probably bringing along a lot of extra mags is a big old waste of uh, stuff you gotta carry for most bug out situations. Um, this kind of front pocket just comes right away um, so you can kind of angle this away you've got some more storage under here a little netting on the side very useful let's look at the top 
pocket. There's a little sort of sunglass pocket or compartment here. I keep a headlamp and some batteries. They got an assortment of batteries for whatever you carry in here, like if you carry a radio. There's also these nice long side pockets. Uh, water is a very good thing to have in here. I've got a Mora knife. So really just a, a knife for all kinds of stuff. Um, you could like skin game with this. You could cut stuff. Um, this isn't some like hardcore, like tactical, whatever, like sort of wannabe knife. It's more of a, uh, just like a decent camp knife. I also have some chem lights in here. Oh no, sorry, that is a, um, these are a bunch of just plastic bags. They're super useful around camp and uh, a life straw. Just another way to get water. Water is like, and if you're sensing a theme here, it's like gonna be your main concern if you're actually running around outside, so. Um, I've removed some of this from the from the kit, but you know, bottled water, again. On, on, on theme here, on brand. Uh, more plastic bags for uh, holding stuff. I've also got some trash bags in here and um, some paracord. All right, let's look at what kind of goodies we have in here. All right, more water. Are you surprised yet? Uh, water's pretty important. Uh, and if you wanna be a, uh, someone that actually makes it to your destination that you're trying to go to, you're gonna need a lot more water than you think over a couple of days. Um, so that is what I have in here, lots of bottled water. Probably wanna swap this out every few days, but this is just your big old main compartment. Um, Shamog here, you can be used as a primitive water filtration device, uh, mostly just, it's white so that it reflects a lot of sunlight. Um, and so that it, uh, it just keeps the sun off your head, keeps you from getting heat stroke. Toilet paper. You don't ever wanna shit in the woods, but um, you know. Tampons, you don't have to feel bad chucking these into the woods. If you've got a, a companion with you, uh, someone in your family that's gonna need tampons, you should probably think about that. Here's a Baofeng radio. Um, this is pretty cheap, easy. If you have a ham license, uh, great. If not, and you're having an emergency, it is legal for you to transmit, um, even if you don't have a ham license, but you should just get one to learn how to talk on the radio. Starting to get to food. Um, this is like really a tertiary concern if you're out. Um, any kind of real like bug out length of time. Um, I think people have this fantasy that they're gonna be out in the woods for like weeks at a time and just like doing great, just hunting stuff or whatever, surviving. Uh, needing a lot of food. It's it's just very unlikely that things are gonna go down that way. So um, I have some food, but it's not a ton and it's as light as possible. Water's really my main concern for like the first <laughs> week. So that being said, more food, more food, even more food. Now I've kind of portioned this to be, I forget what it is. It's, it's um, you know, like a week of food for two people. So an emergency shelter, uh, just so like a little bivy bag. Um, you should have something that's rainproof, um, something that'll get you off the ground. A tarp um, can be used for all kinds of stuff. Shelter, obviously, catching water, catching condensation, um, staying out of the sun, etc. More food, even more food. You know, listening to myself, I now realize like I could replace a lot of this food with water and I'd be fine for most realistic emergencies. A little bit of warm weather clothing, extras, <laughs> always nice to have. Um, if you've ever like spent a lot of time camping or been in the military, like run around the woods for a long time, um, you'll know that clean, warm, dry <laughs> wool socks are like, uh, you know, they're a miracle. And uh, having them in your your kind of, oh shit, everything's gone wrong already bag um, is wonderful. Also, it can like keep you alive. So extra underwear, extra warm weather gear, cooking. Um, this is just some fuel and something to cook in. Camp stove, just a small um, little fold out camp stove. And dry bags. You can hang these for food if you're somewhere where there's like bears or other animals that are gonna be interested in what you have. More ways to start fires. Um, also a small knife, um, just for cutting stuff. I don't know, useful to have an extra knife. More ways to start fires. If you don't know how to use a map and compass, you should, and you should also have a 
paper map of your area that you expect to be going into. This is a Sunto um, compass, nice and reliable. Some writing implements in a waterproof bag, um, and yet another way to start a fire. Can you tell everything has a backup and all the important stuff has multiple backups? So things like water, ways to start fires and shelter, um, and some basic medical stuff will get you a long way um, if you have some backups. That's both getting water and um, treating it so that it's safe to drink. All right, I've saved you all the, exp uh, the suspense and packed it back up myself. You don't have to watch that. Um, some stuff that's in here that you didn't see is things like bug spray, uh, tourniquets, kind of extras like that. But that is everything. Um, and that's, that's a ton of stuff. Um, it's probably a 40-pound bag, maybe, 35. Um, it's like this is going to be a lot to hump with. Um, and, <laughs> I mean... I'm a big dude and I probably wouldn't go any heavier than this. In fact, I'd probably throw a bunch of shit out. The first day of hiking, as long as I kind of knew uh, what the situation, the kind of mission was, um, I just threw the stuff out that I don't need. Like, Is it a good bag? Now that you've seen everything I've stuffed into it, uh, the fact that it lets you, that it has so many different kind of compartments that just kind of make sense. Um, you know, I would look for a cantina for water in here. I know that my medical gear um, is all in the front where I can reach it easily. Um, kind of sunglasses and extra stuff, a huge main compartment, lots of pockets in the, the flaps, like sewn into these flaps uh, inside. Tons of, you know, molly on the outside, lots of little straps. Um, it's uh, and, and honestly, it's just a durable um, piece of equipment. It's just, it's nice, thick nylon. Um, I think this thing's going to last. It has lasted. Um, and it's kind of performed well for what it does. I think if you can pick one of these up for a reasonable price, I don't know how much they are these days, but let me see. So it looks like you can get one of these for something like 150 bucks, 170. Um, it's steep, but, um, you know, if you have the money to spend, then uh, this is a good purchase. It certainly seems like it's going to last nice and heavy. It's one of the downsides too, right? It's heavy, but the 72 is a big ass backpack. So like it's already going to be heavy. Having it then also be durable for a little bit of extra weight is is, is worth the trade off to me. Um, but as someone who has um, done a lot of, let's say, hiking and outdoorsy stuff with a lot of heavy equipment, I can say that <laughs> every pound matters. Um, one of the things in the military, they tell you, you know, like every pound over um, 10 miles or something is like 10,000 extra pounds that you're bringing. It's like a ton per mile or per two miles or something like that that they tell you. But the point is just a little bit of extra heavy is like a lot of extra heavy over distance. And that's stuff that your feet and your knees and your back will have to absorb. So uh, pack as lightly as possible for the mission. And um, yeah, if you're going to have a big old bug out bag because of... Uh, hopefully something like realistic that you're expecting, um, like a house fire or a prolonged power outage or some kind of natural disaster that you got to leave for. Um, I think this is a great choice. Um, I feel comfortable, you know, like what you've seen here, plus some extra medical gear, plus um, documents like deed, uh, you know, personal IDs and passports, that kind of stuff. It makes a pretty well-rounded kit for just like having something to throw in the car and get the hell out of Dodge with. So... Uh, yeah, I hope that's been useful, and uh, see you all in the next one. Peace.